What's good with y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So I got a chance to check out AEW Full Gear finally. I know there was people messaging me on Instagram, DMing, DMing me, asking me if I've seen it yet. I wasn't able to check it out last night. We was busy recording the podcast. Stay tuned to that on the Inner Clutch page. Should be dropping sometime this week. But I did take some time off today after I got off work to check it out. And the one thing I've been hearing on social media is that uh, John Moxley and Kenny Omega match, that unsanctioned match, was ridiculous. And I have to agree. I will say about uh, in my opinion of the overall show, um, the first half of the show was okay. I think for me, the best part of the first half of the show was the uh, Young Bucks going against uh, Santana and Ortiz. Man, that was an that was an entertaining match. I enjoyed that match a lot. Uh, I also enjoyed the um, Pac versus Hangman Page match. That was pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? I, I enjoyed those matches, and then everything else. I was I was in and out for it. it wasn't that it was bad wrestling it's just i i really wasn't as entertained as i was for for those two matches but then once the cody match happened with jericho i knew that was going to be a marquee match and it was entertaining i love it i had a feeling jericho was going to retain because he is at this present moment the best thing one of the best things going on for aew and just one of the best heels just in wrestling general like in wrestling as a whole not just you know aew wwe just in the wrestling world he's one of the better heels right now so I, it made sense to have him hold the belt for a while he's he's really bringing some prestige to the belt and he's just building up that heel heat but he's also charismatic at the same time he's also funny so I think they went with the right decision to having him retain. Now, what I kind of felt like was going to happen, and they had been teasing it, was MJF turning on Cody. And I think this was the perfect time for him to turn on him, cost him the match. He basically threw in the towel, cost, it, uh, cost Cody uh, the match. And from uh, Cody's stipulation, uh, he won't be going for the AEW championship ever again. So we'll see how long that lasts. But hopefully he stays true to his word on that because I feel like he doesn't have to have the strap for people to be invested in his matches. And I think this next feud, him versus MJF, is going to be entertaining as hell because they both are great on the mic. MJF is better as a heel and he's a heel that knows how to speak he knows how to heal it up and the fact that i don't know if this was a plant at the show when mjf is rock walking up the ramp after he gave cody a, a severe nut shot after he's walking up the ramp supposedly a fan threw a beer at him i think that may have been a plant i'm not sure i think that may have been a plant if it wasn't a plant that's good that's it's not good that the guy did that if it wasn't a plant, but that's good to get nuclear heel heat, real heel, heel heat. That's dope, and MJF just smirks, but I think that was a plant. Either way, it's a good visual. People are going to love to hate the guy. Can't wait to see this Cody Rose MJF feud, so that's what I take out of that match. The match was entertaining. I enjoyed it for what it was, but the real bread winner the match that just had people divided on social media when they were talking about it is none other than this unsanctioned match between Jericho and Kenny Omega you see the thumbnail I really wish I could have did like a live reaction on my channel but one I knew it was going to get demonetized because it was there was a lot of blood and violence, so I knew it was going to get demonetized. And two, AEW was probably going to take down a clip. I'm pretty sure they were going to take it down. So I was like, you know what? Let me just give my thoughts and opinions on it. Just just on a, just keep it that way for this particular video because I already knew there was no way I was going to be able to post this on the channel. But I will say, this is one of the most craziest unsanctioned matches i've seen in a while i think the last unsanctioned match 
that I seen that was pretty pretty badass was actually the other unsanctioned match they had with John Moxley and Joey Janela. That was pretty badass too. And then the unsanctioned match between Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. That was that was a well entertained un unsanctioned match. And this one just to me just took the cake. I'm just brutalness. Like I'm the type of person I can I'm it's hard to make me squeamish but there were some parts in this match that I, I did cringe a little bit because, yo, they worked their asses off. They earned that paycheck they got that night. Last night, they earned that paycheck, man, because there's nothing, there's no way I could see myself going through those type of spots like that. I just couldn't see myself falling in a bed it was pretty much like a bed of barbed wire and they both fall through it gave me the ecw one night stand vibes oh my god yo that's yo i don't even know what to say that match was intense the way kenny omega sliced you know the webbing between your fingers he's he had some glass and he was slicing John Moxley's inner webbings between his uh, fingers, he just savage. You can see the crowd emotion, like they were. There's grown ass men doing this. Grown ass men. I expected women to, you know, kind of look away, but there's grown ass men just shocked at what they're watching. Like there was some sick, sick, sick spots, bro. When um when Kenny Omega was getting blasted, no homo, with the bat that's wrapped in barbed wire, yo, you can see just all the the holes, like the marks and the blood just automatically coming from his back, and he started, oh my god, he was scraping it like he stomped on the bat while it's on his back, and he stomped on it, pushed it in even more. I'm like, yo. And then the fact that he got his revenge, he had the broom wrapped with barbed wire. Uh, John Moxley, he's about to die through the ropes, catches one to the face, start bleeding immediately. He starts sweeping my guy's back with a barbed wire broom. My, yo. I think that glass spot was pretty savage when he broke all the glass, put it off in the ring. He spread it all throughout the ring. Because you're thinking it's thumbtack, thumbtacks, but it's uh, glass. Yo, my, <laughs> both of their backs are done. And I don't I don't know if you guys know this, man. But even when you break glass up, even in like small fragments, that, that shit still hurts. Like, I know, I'm pretty sure, even though there wasn't big shards in their back, I'm pretty sure they had to go in the back and get a lot of that shit removed out of their back. Even those small fragments, that, that hurts, bro. And when people make the comment that wrestling is fake, you gotta, you gotta send them to watch matches like this. Because this ain't fake. When the storylines, you can say the storylines are predetermined and some of the moves that they do in the ring aren't always real. But when it comes to certain spots like this, you can't fake that. You can't fake falling into barbed wire. You can't. You can't fake you know, falling onto broken glass, and this is John Moxley's forte. He used to be in CZW. This is this is what he's he's known for. At, at one point, this is this was his mo. I love hardcore matches. I can take pain. I will enjoy the pain. Like this is what he's known for. So the fact that people would even make that comment, they don't even know. This is this is you can't fake this, bro. Like they literally. Went out there, put their bodies on the line for our entertainment, and I have to say, man, they ended off the show with a bang, because that was just an intense, intense battle, man. I don't even know what to say. I'm pretty speechless. Now, watching it, after everyone else has been raving and talking about it on social media, some people saying, nah, I couldn't watch it too much. I had to turn away. And some people are like, yo, this was the most insane match I've seen in a very long time. And they went to war and it doesn't even matter. Like, on the record books, it doesn't even matter. He did all that just to beat Kenny Omega in a, in a match that won't count to anybody's record. 
insane. It keeps both rec- uh, wrestlers strong in the sense of in the kayfabe sense of the records. But other than that, John Moxley came out on top. This was a sick, sick spot. My God, they at the, at this point. He's tearing up the ring, John Moxley. Cut up the ring. You expose the wooden board of the ring. And those who don't know, even if you fall, just with all the ring like set up, like with the padded protection, that still hurts. Like taking a suplex or taking a dive from the top rope, that still hurts even when you hit the ring. Now you take away the padding, you take away the covering, and you're just left with the wood, just the wood frame. Oh my, yo. My guy, Kenny Omega, went for the ultimate, ultimate dub. He missed, and when he missed, bro, he missed hard, face first into the wood. That's a spot you got to be willing to take, bro. That is, like I said once again, those who sit there and say wrestling is fake, bro, y'all got to watch matches like this because you can't fake hitting wood gravity doesn't care about storylines if you go up you will fall whatever is at the bottom is what you're gonna hit if it's barbed wire you're hitting that if it's wood you're hitting that concrete you're hitting that table you're hitting that you can't fake that pain that's legit spots like that are legit that's why wrestlers they have my utmost respect when it comes to doing sick and insane spots those two matches alone, the unsanctioned match and the AEW championship match alone, definitely bumped up the show a couple of points for me. If I had to give the show a rating out of 1 of 10, 1 through 10, I'm going to give it a cool 7, man. This was a, a 7 show. It, it could have been better. I felt like the women's championship match could have been better. Um... It had some down moments for me personally, but the ending of the show, the ending half of the show was just entertaining, wrestling at its best, and this, the last match was just, if you want to see two people try to kill each other on a pay-per-view, this is a match you watch. This is a match I could see myself watching as a kid, but even then, as a kid, I didn't see no crazy stuff like this. Like, yo, this is on some next-level intense stuff man so i enjoyed it i want to know what y'all think did y'all enjoy the unsanctioned match what was the spot that made y'all cringe the most in that unsanctioned match for me is them jumping off the stage into the barbed wire netting like the barbed wire like bed i guess you can call it a bed or a spider's web like yo that was so much barbed wire and they they literally just laid in it because they had to get help to get out of it like that was so sick that was the spot that made me cringe the most let me know what spot made y'all cringe the most and let me know if y'all were looking forward to uh AEW Dynamite this Wednesday if y'all gonna check it out to see what's gonna happen what what feuds are about to spark up um, if y'all looking forward to MJF and Cody Rhodes fuse let's a uh, few let, let's talk about it let's discuss it in the comment section man but AEW full gear give it a 7 out of 10 very enjoyable WWE take notes that's how you do an extreme match you don't do an extreme match like an extreme rules match or anything goes match an unsanctioned match and only use kendo sticks bro that's not an unsanctioned that's not an extreme rules match that's just a match with a couple kendo sticks and some chair shots to the back bro i get why they can't do it they're t uh they're pg rated so i get why they can't do it but they need to get rid of the extreme rules pay-per-view because nothing will ever come to ex- ex- as extreme as what aew just pulled off last night intense enjoyed it let me know what y'all think and i appreciate y'all kicking in with me i'll see y'all on the next one peace